Socialism comes from there. Okay. So the fasting of the day of Ashura. Abdul Sayyam Bad Ramadan Shahrullah al Muharram. Yaqul Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay. وهو عاشوراء والمعنى أنه يصوم. Okay, so if you there's a long discussion here. Okay, so I'm gonna read the very hadith, yeah, where the Prophet said it will expiate for your sins. Okay. Adnan. Yeah. Any fasting, any fasting. Yeah. Will actually. No, specifically the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said specifically about this that fasting on the day of عاشوراء. Okay. The Prophet specifically Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the fasting on the day of Ashura will expiate for the sins. Okay, where is the Arabic? My question is, I'd not to you. Do you celebrate Ashura? I will answer your question with the hadith. Yes. Okay. Mm. Okay. Why don't I have one of these, by the way? Have them. I'll stand next to you. Huh? <laughs> no, 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 no. Why can't I have one of these? Uh, I don't know. I think it's made of gold or something. Like what? Yeah. No, why can't I have one? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. I'm not going to speak to any of you there. Okay. Until don't you change your attitude. Yeah, speak no, 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 no. I'm not going to talk to anybody. You're not talking to me? Well, not with this one. I, I, Share some. Yeah, that's better. Because yeah, I can't really shout all the time. Last time, Adnan, you had them all. Each time you walk away with some brother, my voice is not heard. So I learned a lesson from this. Okay. Do you okay. hear me? Sound okay? Brother Adnan, listen, listen. No, Let's wait, not wait, make wait. an issue out of this. One, fasting is always good for anybody in terms of the sin. I'm, my question to you is, do you celebrate Ashura? That's it, simple as. Siyam, Yom Ashura, Yukafir al-Sana al-Madi al-Liqol al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Siyam, Yom Arafa. أحتسب على الله يوم عرفة وإسنا عشرة يكفر السنة wait 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 it's coming man it's coming listen وصيام 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 يوم عشرة أحتسب على ال على الله أن يكف أن يكفر السنة السنة التي قبله. Okay, okay. خلاص. خلاص. Wait, 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 wait. You ask me. I've not checked that hadith. رواه المسلم. رواه المسلم. Okay, right. What I'm saying. One six two. Okay, what I'm saying. I will now take out Muslim. No, wait a second. Wait. Sorry, Muslim. One one six two. No, let's not waste time on this. What I'm saying is, fasting is good practice as a worship. Wait. Listen to me. You're not listening. I'm listening. What I'm asking you is, do you celebrate Ashura? I'll answer. I'm answering. Answer. Yeah, come on then, answer. Sahih so Muslim, 1162. Kitab al Siyam, Sahih Muslim. Okay. And the chapter is called, what is it called? Read. By the way, by the, the way, chapter is wait called, a second. Wait yeah. a second. You, you, Adnan, Adnan, can you just pay attention to me, please? Just one second, Adnan. Yeah. Right. You, are you with me? Yeah. Right. Leave it, leave it. Just one second. Firstly, right. I will have it. No, yeah, wait, I'll wait, wait. You, you said, you said yeah. there's no hadith which right. says that fast on the day of Ashura. I said there is a hadith which says fast on the day of Ashura, mm. it will expiate for your sins. I made okay. that claim. Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. But you, you said no. Me. Listen, you said no. as far as I'm concerned, wait, the Karan. Prophet did we'll not go, we'll say go, fast we'll Ashura. Okay. Right? Okay. You quoted me from your own books, hadith. Khalas. <laughs> You've got the hadith, you've got it. What I'm yes, my question is, now it's my okay. question is, now it's okay. No, no, that's not okay. No, no, no. Why would you fast Ashura? 
first. Is it because you want to celebrate that I, day? I will, no, come, let me I will come to that question. Please, uh, answer my question. Wallahi, I will uh, come to that question. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you. Wallahi, I'll, I'll come no, to no, that I'll question. I'll give you a hadith. The Prophet said, two days of the week, my favorite in fasting. Are we going to do the same thing? No, no, no. Listen. Let's, you two speak, days of the you week. Speak for a few seconds. I'll speak for a second. Let me ask you a question. I said, mm. there is a hadith from the Prophet. Mm. You, asked, you asked, why do you fast on Ashura? You asked me. Mm. I said, there's a hadith of the Prophet yeah. that says that fasting on the day of Ashura will expiate for sins. Okay, it will be a kafara okay. for sins. Okay. You said there is no hadith like that. Not according you, you to my book. Not no, according no, to my book. No, you didn't say that. Right. You, no, no. You, you got, didn't say that. No, not according to my book. You did not you say got, that. You got me a hadith from now your own book. Now you're no. saying this. Now you're saying this. What, I did, no, what did I say after that? I said any time you fast is good for you, regardless. Right? That's one. What I'm saying here, do you celebrate Ashura? And you keep not answering the question. Okay. Do you celebrate Ashura? I will answer your question. Come on then. Can we establish the first point? What point? Is there a hadith in our books? Not in my books. In our books? In your books, yes. You got okay. me a book. Okay, okay. okay. It's okay. not Hajj on me. You got me a no book from your no, books. No problem. Fine. Is I'm there, not gonna is argue there a hadith in our books which commands us to fast on Ashura? So command you? No, it doesn't continue. command you. It doesn't command you. It's not a command. It's a recommendation. Recommendation yes. different from yes. command. Yes. Why so are you saying it's command? To, to us, to us, yes. the Prophet Wasallam, yes. every recommendation is an Amr. That's us, a, no, that's that's you, do you no, know? No, no. Do you know? Where did you get that with okay. from? Yeah. Where did you get that understanding from? Sharia and Islam is clear, very, very distinctive. Amor is Amor, recommendation is recommendation. Okay, can I ask so, when you make a recommendation, Amor, that you make in bid'ah, can, can I say... Uh, you can becoming I, a faqih in your deen. Can, can I answer? Right. The Prophet Sallallahu said in Sahih Muslim mm. that man amila amalan mm. laysa lahu amran uh, laysa lahu amrana fahuwa laysa alayhi amrana Okay, فهو رد. ليس عليه أمرنا فهو رد. These are the words in Sahih Muslim. Yeah. Right? That anyone who does an action and upon it there is no Amr from us. Amr means injunction. No, 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 it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. It doesn't what, mean what? that. ليس عليه أمرنا. من yes. عمل من yes. عمل عملا. Yes, it says. ليس no. ليس عليه أمرنا. Yeah. فهو رد. No, right. It, okay, wait. Now this 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 hadith mm. not only helps us, it completely de demolishes the entire Shia house. Really? Because because oh. because because Shia, says, Shia, 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 Amrana. Shia Islam was not not around in the time of the Prophet yeah. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Sunnism so, was around. So, so the hadith Sunnism. says anything. Sunnism was around. Anything, yeah. Yes. Sunnism yes. was around. No, no, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. wait. Sunnism yeah. was around, yes? We're not going to shout. Where do you get that from? We're not going to shout. I'll, I'll let you speak. Yeah, yeah, okay, no, no. So can, we don't have to shout. No, why are you full of bid'ah today? What's this, okay. Adnan? I'm really surprised. Anything. I'm disappointed. Okay. You're full of bid'ah today. You finish. Right. You're so where was Shia? I'll, I'll answer now. Where was the Sunnis? I, I, I will answer. Where are the Sunnis? If you show yeah. anything in our actions, we are the Ahl Sunnah, okay, and we follow Hadith. The tradition of the Prophet. If you point to anything we do today, yeah, that cannot be found in our books of Sunnah, we will leave it today, right now. Wait, right now, here, standing here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Likewise, you pose the same question to me: that if you find anything we do today that cannot be found in your books attributed to Ahlul Bayt, you will leave it today. Agreed? Yeah. Not in our books, yeah, your yeah, books. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll show you things yeah. you do yeah. that cannot be found in your books okay. and you do them yes, today yes, yes. shake hands Yalla, shake Kalas, you okay. show me first right. what we're doing okay. that cannot be found in our books and i'm going to show you right. what you guys do that was never done by ahlul bayt okay, okay. So, the prophet yeah. said mm. the prophet said mm. huh? mm. i'm leaving behind two weighty weighty things mm. the book of allah and my, uh, my okay. house good one thing ما, listen next ما انت مسكتم بهما لن تضلوا بعد يا okay. as long as you adhere to them you will not go astray good you very didn't good. follow the prophet Jazakallah khair. you follow him no no that's it that's it yeah okay so what are you going to do about I, I, it i will answer the question have you followed that uh, prophet yes we have, we have we have where how word by word where word by word where we now uh, this is my answer mm. you will have to listen to it yeah sorry can we move away from the noise guys can we move away from the noise because there's too much noise i want to talk to abu karar today without shouting and screaming Okay. This is going to be a lovely discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Ashura tomorrow. Inshallah, yeah. both of us will be fasting. No, 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 no. <laughs> you haven't answered my question. Okay, you haven't answered my question, Adnan. Stop, stop, stop. 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 St
You asked me a question. You showed show, you showed us that we the Ahl Sunnah bring bring them around. Bring, bring all of them. Bring all of them. Bring all of them. Bring all of them. Okay. You you Abu Karar, you showed me something we don't do. And I'm happy that you're trying to help us become better Muslims, inshallah. Inshallah. That we are not following the Quran and the Ahl Bayt. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you how we are doing that and how you in particular, the Shia don't do that. Okay, they don't follow this hadith. They always claim it. It is written on every single wall in, uh, in Shia places and country. It's written everywhere. Shias have memorized it. Now, firstly, the Prophet said, Two heavy things. Number one is Kitabullah. And then, Itrati Ahl al Bayt. My family, my family, no problem, my family. The Prophet said, My family. Okay? And hold on to them tightly. So, the first thing the Prophet mentioned was Kitabullah. We need to talk about Kitabullah to understand who is Itrati and Ahl al Bayt. Because without the Kitabullah, we cannot understand who Ahl al Bayt is. Sah? Kitabullah is number one. Mm. Then comes Ahl al Bayt. We agree, yeah? Because yeah. the Prophet mentioned in this order, yeah. in this tartib. Yeah. So Kitabullah tells us that the Ahl al Bayt are definitely the wives. Because the Quran, Kitabullah, uses the term Ahl al Bayt in two places Surah Hud, verse 73, mm. and Surah Al Ahzab, verse 33. Allah uses the term Ahl al Bayt twice in the Quran, and both times it refers to the wives of the, the Messenger of Allah directly. And in uh, Surah Hud, it refers to the wife of Ibrahim. In both cases, and the third time, the term Ahl is used when Musa wasara bi ahlihi. Wasara bi ahlihi, meaning he is, is going with his wife. Because the Mufassirin, they explain the Ahl here is with Musa, his wife, right? So wherever the term Ahl or Ahl al-Bayt is used in the Quran, or Ahl, uh, um, it, is, it is about the wives. So the Quran is telling us that Ahlul Bayt are definitely the wives. Then we go to the Sunnah. After the Quran, having understood who Ahlul Bayt are, we go to the Sunnah. The Sunnah tells us Ahlul Bayt are the wives and also Ali bin Abi Talib, his wife and the children. Allahu Akbar. We accept wholeheartedly. So we take the Quran. We take the and the Quran tells how long, us, how long are you going to take by the way? Finishing, finishing no. very quickly so that you can come can in. Can we through. ask questions while? Uh, no, no, let me finish, no? then you can ask me questions. No, no, okay. no, no, no. You okay. finish, I talk. Yeah. And then if you have a question, you ask me. No problem. Come. So you want to uh, you want to ask a question now? Yes. Okay. But that will be part of my talk. <laughs> okay, no problem. No problem. Let me finish my point. Finish your I'm point. I'm finishing 30 seconds. Yes. So the Quran points to the Quran, mm. Kitabullah, in the hadith where the Prophet said, the Quran points to a number of sources to follow. The Prophet, Quran says, Atiullah, Ya Yulladina Amun, Atiullah, Wa Atiul Rasul, Fa Ulil Amri Minkum. Okay, the Quran tells us this. Mm -hmm. According to the hadith of Taqalain, the Quran is telling us, follow the Messenger of Allah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then the Quran also tells us to follow those who follow the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay, with Ihsan, yeah. with Ihsan. Okay, the Quran tells us, there are verses in the Quran. Okay, we have a referee now as well. <laughs> okay, so, so the Quran tells us this. So the Quran tells us who the Ahlul Bayt are. The Quran, Quran tells us who to follow. Then we go to the next point, Ahlul Bayt. And we explain the Ahlul Bayt to us are the family of the Prophet, including Ali, Fatima, and the children. And how do we follow them? We follow them by making sure, that, because the Quran again tells us, in Ja'akum Fasikun Binaba in Fatabayanu. The Quran says when a Fasik, when a sinner, a liar, an untrustworthy person brings a news to you, Fatabayanu. Fatabayanu. Make sure it is correct, right? So when liars come to us telling us that Ahlul Bayt said this, 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 we don't accept it. But when the truthful people come to us, like in Kitabul Hajj, we have the longest hadith. The longest hadith in Sahih Muslim on Hajj is from Imam Jafar al-Sadiq and Imam Muhammad al-Baqir. 
from Jabir and Abdullah. So we follow the Ahlul Bayt when we can authenticate information. When we cannot, when liars come to us, Zurara, Abu Basir, Hisham bin Hakam, Hisham bin Salim, Abu telling us, huh? Abu Mikhnaf. Uh, Abu Mikhnaf is uh, uh, Abu history. history. No, no. Abu Huraira. No, Abu Huraira didn't say anything about Ahlul Bayt. No, no, no. He died before them. No, no, he no, died no. before them. Abu Huraira died before them. Abu Huraira died before Imam Jafar al Sadiq and Imam Muhammad al Baqir. Well, I'm okay. talking about Ahlul Bayt, the main ones, the, the Ali, Fatima, Al Hassan, and Al Hussein. Very good question. Yes. Very good question. Let, can you show me, me, can you show me your in point. your books reports from Ali, Ali, yes. Hassan, Hussein, and Zainal Abidin? Show me. And Let's I'm going to show okay. you there are more reports yeah. in our books right. from okay. them than in your books. Have you finished now? Let yes, me talk. Ma, I'm finished. Okay. Please. Okay. Go, go. Brother Adnan said that in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala specifically said that Ahlul Bayt are the wives. Now, what I'm talking about, right, the particular part of the verse in that ayah, when it's Allah says, Allah wills it and wants it that it will send away from you all kind of uh, rich. The rich here means uh, all, all bad things, Impurity, yeah. impurities, mm. sins, uh, work of shaitan, anything, Agreed. right? Now, this is a purification. Allah said the best of purif purification, meaning those people specified in the verse, they're going to be sinless. Allah wants it. We do not say up to us whether um, how, how sinful they are or they are not sinful. Allah said, purifying you and the best purification. Now, we go to the Sunnah. Adnan said, Sunnah also said that it was his wives and uh, Imam Ali Fatima Hassan Hussein. There is no such Sunnah. The Hadith in Sunnah, the most authentic Hadith is the Hadith of Kisa, the Hadith of the cloak where the Prophet gathered Fatima al-Zahra alayhi salam, Ali alayhi salam, Al-Hassan wal Hussein alayhi salam under the cloak. And he said, oh Allah, those are my Ahlul Bayt which the phrase he used compatible with the phrase with the verse in the Quran oh Allah send away from them all kind of sins and purify them the best purification why we know this because when it comes to the uh, actual uh, events we know that this verse cannot be applicable to the wives meaning that the wives in the Quran and in the events of history did things that upset Allah did things that upset the Prophet therefore they cannot be the people who Allah purified okay that goes against Allah's word can I respond no, listen, listen this yes. is how we establish these facts okay now and Ahlul Bayt those that the Prophet specified, one would ask, okay, aren't the wives his Ahlul Bayt? We say, and according to the, some, some of the Sahaba, there are two saying that they are their member of the, bay, uh, of the house, but not the household, the special one okay. that is being specified in the Quran and in the Sunnah. A wife, like Sahabi said, a wife of a Prophet get divorced and she is sent back to her, to her parents. Yes. So she's no longer his household. Yes. However, Imam Al Hassan, Imam Ali, wa Fatima, wa Hassan, wa Hussein, they are part of the Prophet's blood. They cannot be separated. Just like Prophet Ibrahim, when Allah said, "Salamun alaykum ahl al Bayt." Ahl al Bayt fought uh, what he meant, Prophet Ibrahim and his wife, and his wife was his cousin. Therefore, we say that this is the relationship between them. We believe that those are Ahlul Bayt. If you bring in the wives into this, you are very much mistaken and you are digressing from the message of the Prophet, what he said in many times. Oh, I remind you of Allah, Allah is your witness. I put Allah witness upon you to look after my Ahlul Bayt. Okay. And respond? what did you do? What did they do with Ahlul Bayt? They killed them, they cursed them, they fought them. This who is did, the message. Who did, who did? Your Sahaba, who did? Okay. Right? Can I respond now? Do you think the Jews did it or the Christians? Time for me to no, respond. no, correct me if I'm mistaken. 
وفوت امام علي وكل حسين شيا شيا فم كوفه لا 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 ويت ويت والله شيا فم كوفه ده مسلم يا اوكي ليسن ليسن شيا فم كوفه لا وير ذي مسلم او نوت وير ذي مسلم وير ذي مسلم او نوت هو ذا دوز فم كوفه دوز فم كيل امام حسين دوز فم كيل امام حسين اها ذي ار in hellfire okay wait wait no, doesn't matter where they are it doesn't matter we know where they are ask me, no, ask me. i ask you a question answer it i'll let you finish where they muslims those who killed imam hussein you, you finish first no it's question it's my turn to talk now no, no answer can i speak b- b- i'll give you the chance to speak yeah just answer me were those who killed imam hussein were they muslim no 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 they were answer monafic. me they were, they were monafikin muslims they were mona- we don't know We don't know. We don't know. We they don't were munafiqeen. They were munafiqeen. They cannot be. They cannot be believers and deliberately kill the grandson of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And I, I believe. Did you the, know? And they were the ancestors of the current Shia school of thought. Right. They say they were munafiqeen. Yeah. Did you know that before they slaughtered Imam Hussein and his Ahl al-Bayt, mm-hmm. they were praying? Okay. So what do you say? What are you talking about, munafiqeen? Apparently. Apparently they were Muslims. Apparently. Apparently, apparently they were Muslims. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Apparently, yes. Eh, yeah, خلاص. But so, the actions are not Muslim. The same, same with those apparently, actions. Same, apparently, yeah, yeah. Same apparently with actions. No, 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 no. Them with same with the action. Yeah, those who fought yeah, Imam Ali in the Battle of Jamal. Okay. Apparently, ISIS are Muslim. Yeah. Apparently. Apparently, ISIS are Muslim. Yeah. Apparently, those who fought Imam Ali. Yeah. 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 Apparently, yeah. yeah. apparently yeah. those who fought Imam Ali in Jamal. Yeah. Your great Sahaba. They were Muslim. Apparently, those who fought. Imam Ali in Safin, they were Muslim. Okay. Apparently, yeah, those who fought Imam Ali in Nahrawan, they were Muslim. Look, and they all look, part you're, of the whole unfair. thing. You're being unfair. No, you why? are throwing why? 50 topics in a discussion. You're going to expect me to respond to all of them, and you're not going to give me time. No, so, so, you're deviating, so, you're deviating so, 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 no, no. from giving me a speak, good answer. We're, we're gonna give, you're not giving me a direct okay, answer. Okay, wait. Now, I have explained oh. my turn to speak. I've explained why we follow the Ahlul Bayt. I'm you don't sorry. follow Ahlul Bayt. No, 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 we established no, 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 no. this. I didn't speak in your time. I didn't speak. You in don't time. follow them. I didn't speak in your time. We're going to have to be decent today. Yalla, okay. Today we're going to learn from each other. Right. Okay. So I explained that the Quran tells us who the Ahlul Bayt are. Surah Hud. He he jumps to Surah Ahzab, verse 33. Does not read the verses before and the verses after. When you read from verse 30. Surah Ahzab, verse 30 onwards, Allah is directly addressing the wives of the Prophet. What are the words? Ya Nisa an Nabi. Ya Nisa an Nabi. Ya Nisa an Nabi. Okay. Then in the middle, Allah says what He said. Okay. Inna ma yuridu Allahu liyuzhib hankum al-ridsa wa yutahirakum tathira. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the, this in the middle. Okay, so this verse falls in the middle. He claims that this means they are pure, they are innocent, they are masoom. It is part of the best. The Quran doesn't say that. The Quran is saying we're going to purify you, we're going to keep you pure, we're going to protect you. Okay, now he said they cannot, the wives cannot be these ones because they made mistakes. Okay, and they angered Rasulullah. They angered Rasulullah. But I'm going to show them reports in their books where Ali radiallahu an angered Fatima because he wanted to get married to the daughter of Abu Jahal and this is not our dislikeness of Ali bin Abi Talib. We love him more than the Shias can imagine and more than they can ever ever show. We love Ali bin Abi Talib. Talks, the talks. reason we bring these things only because talks. They, have made Shia, uh, they, they have made Ali bin Abi Talib into a god, into a, into, into a figure with talks, halo. Yeah. You know yeah. halo? You see images. You you can see how they worship the pictures. You of worship 120,000 okay. Sahaba. Wait, wait, wait. You worship it's them. My, it's my time. You worship them. It's my time. Where did you get this? It's my, it's my it's my time. How long you, do you want? You no, no. So okay, many, wait, wait, wait. Many, you, wait, let's yeah. put a, a clock in here. Okay. I can't control you otherwise. No, when I start speaking, you want to I can't control you, Adnan. You no go problem. you go on the, this no problem. this uh, khutbah mode. They said, uh, Very difficult to control. It's part of the ayah. Yeah. The ayah is talking about the advice of the Prophet. Yeah. And part of the ayah, innama yuridullah. It's part of the ayah. Yes. Even the ayah. It's, it's, not, even it's, it's not separate. It's in the middle of an ayah. It's in the middle of an ayah. So what? In the middle of an ayah. Did Allah say, Did he say you're the ban kunna rizza? Three minutes. Three minutes. You're speaking in my time. Did he say you're the ban kunna rizza? Start. Three minutes. Start. Start. Three minutes. Three minutes. Start. Yeah. Bismillah. You forgot where the buttons are. No, this was the time. Check the time now. Don't speak in my time now, please. So, 
It's in the middle of an ayah, Surah al ahzab verse 33. They take a snippet from the middle of the ayah and exclude the wives of the Prophet because of their both, because of their hatred of the wives of the Prophet. They throw them out and they say, this only refers to Ali bin Abi Talib and his family. We say that this definitely includes the wives because of the context, the siyak of the Quran, because of the verses before and the verses after. I invite you, all of you listening to me right now, I invite you to go and open the Quran. Read Surah Al Ahzab, Surah 30. Uh, you can read, yes. 33, Surah 33. Stand up and read. Stand up and read because the mics. Okay, now read these verses very quickly. Oh, wives of the Prophet, you are not like other women. That if you are if you are pious, do not be lenient in your speech. Then the one who have who has disease in their heart, they will have uh, desire in you. Yeah. Uh, and say a, a word or a speech of of rightfulness. And stay in your house, in your homes. And do not as well do tabarraj, which means to, uh, to expose them. Not the context. Yeah. Uh, and establish the prayer. Allah is commanding them these things. Yeah. And pay the zakat. And obey Allah and His Messenger. Then Allah says, Allah wanted to remove the ridges and all the filth and all the, the impurity from uh, the house of the, Allah, of the Prophet وسلم, and to purify you Continue. to purification. Mm. And remember, the, from, to speaking to females. Female. Females. And what is being recited in your homes من آيات الله والحكمة from the verse of Allah and from the حكمة إن الله كان لطيفا خبيرا and Allah عزل is جزاك الله خير and all خلاص this is the context any sane person any fair person any just person listening to these verses reading them in context from verse 30 to verse 35 will come to realize this is a direct reference to the wives of the Prophet only these people these people see otherwise because Allah has as what? Summun, Bukmun, Umyun, Fahum, La Yarjaun. Okay, this is what's wrong with these people. They are blind, deaf, and they cannot see. They cannot see that what Allah is talking about. And before he comes to the word, Ahlul Bayt is basically uh, masculine plural. This is the same term Allah uses for a female in Surah Hud, verse 73. Qalu. The angel said to the wife of Ibrahim, Are you surprised at the command of Allah? Time, time, time. I'm finishing right now. Okay. So Allah uses the term Ahlul Bayt to refer to one woman. The person is the wife of Ibrahim. Allah uses the term Ahlul Bayt here. Ah, okay. These people, Ibrahim. for some reason, Adnan, Adnan, you pass. No, no, come and on, it's come been 1,200 years. They cannot get that. Adnan. That's why I'm finishing right now. That's why we insist that Ahlul Bayt are minutes, not yeah. only Ali bin Abi Talib, radiallahu an, karam Allah waj, alayhi salam, not only him and his family, wada, wives, and this is our view on Ahlul Bayt. That's why we take Islam from the wives and the family of the Prophet and others, the Quran commands us to take Islam from because the Quran is very clear on this now to your point right now three minutes okay. start your time and I will not interrupt right when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala listen the verse verse 33 33 starts with uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talking to his wife or to the wives of the Prophet however However, when it comes to the verse of purification, Allah changes to well to the plural form, including male people. That is to say, the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, I'm going to purify you. Allah is saying that. Allah is not joking, right? When he says, oh, Ahlul Bayt, I'm going to purify you, the best purification. There is no going back on this order of Allah. Meaning what? Those people, they're not going to sin, ya akhi. They're not going to commit any bad things because Allah willed it. You're not going to 
bring in people who upset the Prophet, who upset Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I started the time. Okay, go ahead. Don't worry. Continue. Right? Continue. Who upset Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah reprimanded the wives of the Prophet in, in, in Surah Al-Tahreem. He said, In tatuba ilallah, faqad sagat qulubakuma wa in tazahara alayh, fa inna Allah huwa mawla wa jibreel wa salih al-mu'mineen. Allah said, oh, wives of the Prophet, if you do not repent, you deviated. And if you do, do not repent, then Allah and the angels and the, all the Mu'minis will be on the side of the Prophet. And who is on their side at that moment? No one. And then Allah says, Asa Rabbu, in Tallakakunna, in Tallakakunna, in Yubdilahu, as Wajan, in Yabdilahu, in Yubdilahu, as Wajan, Khairan Mimman, Khairan Minkunna, Muslimatin, Mu'minatin, Kanitatin, Taibatin, Abidatin, Saihatin, Taibatin, Wabkara. All these merits, all these good merits that Allah will replace you, O wives of the Prophet, with women, they have these all good problems. If, if. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. so if. yes, but she, what Allah is saying, if yeah. we have the wives with these good merits, meaning then they have for a moment lost those merits. Are these the ones that Allah purified? Are you joking? Are you serious? No way. So wives cannot be included in that verse of purification. To su support this, the Prophet went hadith in Muslim and Bukhari, got Imam Ali, Hassan, Hussein, Fatima, and Al Kisa, and iterated that verse. He said, Oh Allah, those are my Ahlul Bayt. Oh Allah, purify them. Khalas. Full stop. You trying to by force against the will, will of Allah Time. include other people who are sinful, who at that moment were upsetting Allah and the Prophet. How that cannot be okay. uh, acceptable. Brilliant. Very good. Wait. Uh, three minutes. Uh, well, you, you passed your three minutes last time. No problem. You can stop my three minutes. No, no, come on. Go okay. ahead. Now, now. Now, Abu Qarar read a verse where Allah is warning two wives of the Prophet that if you don't do this, 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 this will happen. Okay, so why is he doing this? Because he's trying to put them in bad light. Clearly, he's trying to show that they are the ones who are sinning. They were bad people. They were not good women. That's why they cannot be part of that verse. Uh, Surah Al Ahzab, verse 33, they cannot be part of that purity or that purification process. That's the point. That's why it can only be Ali bin Abi Talib. So we start. will respond to that. Firstly, when you read Surah Tahrim, sorry, no, so Aisha and Hafsa too. Okay. Now, how do we respond to that? We show these people from the Quran where Allah severely, severely corrects the Prophet and even warns him of Azab. Read. Allah says in the Quran. Tens Aisha. No, wait, 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 not that. ما كان لنبي ما كان أن يكون له أسرة حتى يفخن في الأرض. Allah says there is no prophet that he has the ability to get, have a prisoner, war prisoner, until he will do the yufkhan fil ardi, make the earth red. Make, make the earth yes. red, as you said. Then Allah says in the Quran, تريدون عرض الحياة في الدنيا. You want the lively matters and the dunya. Allah is Allah talking to, 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 the, talking to the prophet. Hmm. And Allah wants the akhirah. Wallah azizu al-hakim and Allah is always all, uh, and all, uh, almighty. لولا, Allah says in the Quran, لولا كتاب من الله. It is not kitab from Allah azizu between a written book from Allah Azza wa Jalla, Kitab from Allah Sabaka, Allah Azza wa Jalla, pre written this before that, Lamasakum Fima Akhatum Adabun Abim. Then you will be taken, you will be punished for what you took, Allah. what you took from them when the Who Prophet. Who is Allah saying this to? To the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the people of Allah. Astaghfirullah. Then Allah, Astaghfirullah. Allah says, Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. We just read the Quran. Astaghfirullah. What do you mean, Astaghfirullah? Astaghfirullah. We just read the Quran. Did, did, did what that, do you mean, Astaghfirullah? Is that your understanding from the verse? Okay. Is that the Wait, 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 he believes in the Quran, by the way. Wait, no. let's agree. Wait. If he believes in the Quran, no, when we read well, the Quran, I'm, I'm, it's Astaghfirullah. I'm saying what, what I'm, I'm saying what Omar said. Okay. Hasbuna okay. Kitab Allah. Do you believe in the Quran? I, I'm saying what Omar said. Hasbuna Kitab Allah. I'm going to take my, my time. He's yeah. going to kill my time. So now it's clear. No, no, no. That's your time. Now it's clear. Whatever, no, no. Wait, whatever, wait, no, no. Whatever he read, is still there. It is, yeah. It yes, is part of your time. Yes, absolutely. We're not running multiple offers. Now, by his arguing, argumentation, by his reasoning, if we apply the same standard, then we have the Prophet. Audu billah, thumma audu billah, thumma audu billah. Okay, they say, you know, um, 
narrating kufr, kufr nabashud. In the Persian language, they say, when you narrate kufr, it's not kufr. Okay? So, audhu billah, using their logic, the Prophet himself is condemned in the Quran because Allah is warning him. Allah is warning him that you did this, this. If this was not done, then this would happen. Likewise, Allah is warning the wives, you did this. If this, not, if this is not done, then this would happen. But did this happen? The question is, did Allah condemn them? Did Allah put azah, uh, punishment on them? These wives, the Prophet died with Aisha in her arms. If Aisha was condemned, if the Prophet had the same understanding as the Shia yeah. of the Quran, what Aisha, Aisha, she would be divorced. She would, Prophet Sallallahu could easily divorce her. Yeah. There was no fear. Abu Bakr was not a macho man. Abu Bakr was not a wrestler. He was not a gangster. He was not Saddam Hussein. <laughs> Abu Bakr was not one of, Omar maybe. Omar, you know Hafsa, Omar maybe was problematic, right? And he divorced, okay. and he divorced Hafsa and retained. Yeah, yeah. So the point, the point is, these people, Yalla, they up. are twisted time beyond imagination. Up, time is up. Okay. Adnan, so now, time is up. Now, now. Time is up. Yalla, right. Yalla. Okay. I have to be fair. Right. Yeah. Guys, look, look how they look at the Prophet so in an insulting way. They think the Prophet is just a normal person, huh? does all mistakes. He doesn't know what he's talking about, what he's doing. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, look, uh, they are so honestly, so, mis um, uh, well, nearly misguided, but they don't understand the Quran. Allah said, there is a role model and the Prophet is a role model for you. And Allah said, the Prophet, uh, on the behalf of the Prophet said, and kuntum Allah, Allah. If you love Allah, follow me and Allah will love you. And Allah said, obey, uh, obey Allah and obey the Prophet. Now, would Allah instruct us to obey someone who makes mistakes, who forgets? Yes? Or he needs a Sahaba to correct him? Like they say, Umar corrected the Prophet on many occasions. I don't know why then. They don't believe Umar is the Prophet really. And that hadith says, Law kana Prophet after me is Umar. Then, when you're in the Sunni books, Umar actually sat there correcting the Prophet on three, four occasions. And Umar says, Allah agreed with him. Allah agreed with him on four occasions. Where is the Prophet? Allah sent the Prophet. He said, Allah said, do not. Ma kana, ma kana li mu'minin wa la mu'mina. Ida qadha Allah wa rasoolahu amran an yakuna lahum al khiyaratu fi amrihim. Allah said. Wa rasoolahu. Wa rasooluhu. Wa rasooluhu. Yes, he's the fa'al. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah. Right? Okay, yeah. Okay. okay. Right. Uh, who said that? Uh, I don't know don't the ignore, grammar. Ignore, ignore. You want to talk the Quran? Your time, your time. Right. Ignore. Okay. Time, your time. Listen. Your, listen. your words are very precious. Listen. The, Allah said, look, they just thought about... Uh, I want him to say more and more. So no, that, no, wait, wait. Allah said, ala yatadabbaroon al-Qur'an, afala yatadabbaroon al-Qur'an, am ala qulubin, am ala qulubin aqfaluha. You're not quoting the Qur'an, yaakhi. No, 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 I'm, I'm saying it right. He said, ala yatadabbaroon al-Qur'an. Afala yatadabbaroon al-Qur'an. Which grah is that, ala yatadabbaroon al-Qur'an? Okay. It's afala yatadabbaroon al-Qur'an. Khair, continue, 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 please. Adnan, please. No, 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 you can quote me, I guess you reverse. Please, continue. No, it's not. You guys are misquoting the Qur'an. You are. And you're arguing with us on Ahl al-Bayt, the meaning of the Qur'an. Yeah, that's what I said. You said, said no. You said Allah. You said Allah. It's recorded. Al al yes. You need to understand yes. the Jazakum Quran no to actually get a verse and say, saying that Allah rep reprimanded this prophet. This is a kufri talk. Kufri talk because Allah said you don't have any choice if, the, if Allah and the prophet ordered you to do anything. You have no choice in doing it. If he says divorce your wife, you divorce it. Not to come and say, oh, why? I want to divorce her. Give me your money. You give your money. Time. So this is Time. how the Prophet was. This is how the Allah looked at the Prophet. He is not the one who walk about making mistakes and get reprimanded. He is the uh, time, subhanallah uh, you ask the sunnis oh we believe we believe the prophet on beyond your time we believe the prophet is masoom and then they get all the uh, mistakes and the errors thank you it's my time thank you. so now it's clear that these people they have no understanding of the quran they will impose their own spin on the quran to save their shaky school of thought okay the quran is black and white Okay, now, who is correcting the Prophet here? Who is Allah? Allah. Allah. Who is Allah? 
the creator rabbu rabbu samawati wal ard the creator of okay. the prophet allah can do it to the prophet and how do we know allah can do it he has done it he has done it in the quran allah can correct the prophet if prophet makes a prophet makes a decision a human human judgment and allah does not agree with it allah will let it, allah allah will let the prophet know and this is what allah did we have no problem with that but the believers cannot do this they cannot come and rebuke the prophet or correct him in this manner only allah can do it okay just like me my father can do it to me if any tom joe or harry would, would come and speak to me in that manner i will tell them to mind your own business okay so Allah has the authority. So what do we prove? That these people, they spin on the Quran, they lend on the Quran, is dirty. It's very bad. Okay. They they put on a dirty lens on the Quran and they read and they see dirt in the Quran. They see they see evil actions in the Quran of the Sahaba. Okay. They see insects and bacteria and virus everywhere in the Quran. Right? That's why they ended up with this uh, understanding, this understanding uh, of you know whatever. So the point is coming back to the Ahlul Bayt. I've made it very clear. Ahlul Bayt are wise according to the Quran. In Surah Hud, he said plural. The Quran uses the term alaykum. Okay, ankum. Sorry, ankum. The Quran says ankum, and he's saying because it's plural, plural masculine, then it has to refer to males also. Okay, we say to them, it cannot refer refer to males only because you want to include Fatima in there too. If Fatima is in there, then it cannot be only referring to males. It's, it's referring to a group of people. That means Allah is including not only the wives, but also the men of the family of the Prophet Sallallahu This is what it means. Okay. Now when that's clear, we have made it clear. And on top of that, the question is, these people don't follow the Quran. It's very clear. They don't understand the Quran. They, they can't read it. Yeah. You have seen it. Yeah, they yeah. don't follow it. They don't want to know it's it. Insane. And you know why? Because Usman, Usman compiled the Quran in its current form. Its standardization, the text of the Quran they are forced to read every day, was compiled by one of the biggest enemies they have for their school of thought. Okay? So they, they don't know where to go. Now, the question is, the question is, what do we do? Do these people follow the Ahlul Bayt? They don't follow the Quran, it's clear. Do they follow the Ahlul Bayt? Wallahi, I'm saying this in front of all these cameras publicly. If they can show me, if they can show me authentic teachings of the Ahlul Bayt, of Imam Jafar al-Sadiq, Imam Muhammad al-Bakir, without any liars in the chain, without any killers of the Ahlul Bayt in the chain, or the children, I will follow those teachings and if I do not come and hold hold me responsible hold me accountable but if they cannot authenticate their teachings that they attribute to the Ahlul Bayt to by the way they are Ithnainiya they are not Ithna Ashariya they are Ithnainiya they only follow two Imams and even those through liars right when they claim that we follow the Ahlul Bayt 12 Imams they don't they hardly have reports from Ali bin Abi Talib, hardly have reports from uh, Hassan, Hussein, Zainul Abidin, radiallahu anhu majma'in alayhi salam. They don't have anything, hardly anything, very little. Their school starts with Imam Muhammad al-Bakir, Imam Jafar al-Sadiq and it stops there. From Musa Kazim and then Ali Rida, hardly anything. So two Imams, they are actually Ithnainiya. For all practical reasons, they are Ithnainiya. They're not Ithna Ashariya. They use the title, but they only attribute teachings to these two Imams through the liars of Kufa. That's why we do not accept their version of the Ahlul Bayt. We are not against the Ahlul Bayt. We love time, the Ahlul Bayt. Time, time, we time. follow them, time. we cherish them, we celebrate them, time, but time. not like these misguided time, time, people. Time. Right. Adnan said, we love Ahlul Bayt. Yeah. He's, he said, we, we love Ahlul Bayt, Start Adnan time, said. Okay. Right? Okay. Where did he get that uh, loving from? Look at what happened to Ahlul Bayt. Mm, good. Yeah? Look at them. Not Good. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Good that you raised this. Why are you good that you raised this question? Right. Yeah. We love Ahlul Bayt. Where did you get that love? Hypocrisy, uh -huh. no practicing. Right? Yeah, stand there. Uh, look what happened to Ahlul Bayt. Ahlul Bayt that the Prophet time and time again emphasized on how to treat them. Allah made them special. And look what happened to them. Imam Ali was fought by all the Sahaba on three battles. Safin, Jamal, and Nahrawan. Where was that love? 
Where, where, where the Sahaba? What did they understand from very the message of uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Prophet? Very good questions. What do you mean? What very good, good questions? questions? I'm going to right. respond to them. Okay. Now, no, you cannot justify. You cannot justify the deliberate going and killing and fighting of Ahlul Bayt. The, it's against Allah and against the Prophet. And you come and you say we love Ahlul Bayt. But at the same time, you do taraddi on, on those who fought him and killed them. This is we. This is. A, 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 a pure hypocrisy. We could not, we could not believe in that thing and saying, "Oh, we love Ahlul Bayt, but we send uh, taraddi on their enemies." That is a purest form of hypocrisy. You agree? I agree. And, no, you don't agree. I agree. I agree. You don't agree. You're going to justify you their. You will agree. You're going just, to justify their uh, crime. Method. Crime. Right. Mm. Aisha. Talha and Zubair, top, top Sahaba, they went against Imam Ali alayhi salam. He was a rightful Khalifa, he was upon Haq. Where is that love? Thousands perished, blood up to the knees. No one cares. And they say it was fitna. And they blame it on Khawarij, poor Khawarij. Always everything that goes wrong, you put it on Khawarij. Same with Muawiyah. Deliberately went. No, no, no. Don't, don't worry about no. it. Don't worry about it. Let you, it you have to establish this. Yes. Muawiyah, that the Prophet said about him, he is the fear of the renegade, the Baghia. They call Ammar. Al Ammar called them to Jannah, to Allah, and they call him to Hellfire. Rose against Imam Ali alayhi salam. Under the auspices, under the excuse of blood of Uthman, which was nowhere near him. Time Muawiyah wanted the Khilafah, wanted not to leave Sham. So he went against Imam Ali, causing again the battle, thousands and thousands of Sahaba and Tabi'een. And yet, you say, Radiallahu an, and you say, we love Ahlul Bayt. No, you cannot be with two people. You cannot not have two hearts in your chest. You cannot love both enemies and hate both enemies. You cannot do that. So this is the, the hypocrisy about, oh, we love them, but on practice, you're nowhere near it. You are actually trying to justify the killers and the murderers of Ahlul Bayt. We stick our Shia, we are the Shia, we listen to the Prophet, like Allah ordered us. He said, obey the Prophet. And the Prophet said, I'm leaving behind the Quran and my Ahlul Bayt. They will not depart and stick to them if you do not want to go astray. And we are not going astray, alhamdulillah, but you have. You left Ahlul Bayt and you are somewhere else now. Okay, time up. You took, you Sorry. took one minute extra, yeah? Okay, so don't start my time yet. Okay, Ya Allah. So he mentioned all the crimes against Ahlul Bayt and uh, he couldn't answer to all my points. I mentioned earlier the Quran and the way Quran mentions that the wives of the Ahlul Bayt and I have completely dismantled uh, already all the points he mentioned about that. They don't follow the Ahlul Bayt, they don't follow the Quran, they have a spin on the Quran which is not correct. I mentioned all those things. Now what he did was he jumped to the crimes of the Sahaba against the Ahlul Bayt. Now I'm going to ask him a question. Who would have the knowledge of these crimes more? Me, him, or the people alive then? People alive then. More so the Ahlul Bayt themselves, the victims. The victims, those who are on the receiving end of all those crimes, right? One of them is Hassan. Okay, now I'll tell you who killed the Ahlul Bayt. The biggest criminals in the history of Islam, the killers of Ahlul Bayt, who those people were. Okay, those people were not the ones who fought against Ali bin Abi Talib. Okay, not the ones who fought against, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, Muawiyah. Okay, these people, they were sincerely misguided in the judgment, right? Muawiyah, we believe, radiallahu anhu, was mistaken in his judgment, right? And Ali was correct in his judgment. Okay, so they have they had a disagreement and they fought each other because of the disagreement. Now the question is, if Muawiyah was the criminal, he claims he was. If the Sahaba were the criminals, he claims they were, 
Then the Imam Hassan, Imam Masum, Imam appointed by Allah, Imam who has all the knowledge of all the great things. He deliberately chooses the very criminal who committed all these crimes against the Ahlul Bayt and makes him Amirul Mu'mineen. And not only that, he goes and places his hand in his hand and gives bayah. Okay. Now who says though? Are we saying this? The Shia sources are saying this. There are reports upon reports in the Shia sources where it is clearly stated that Imam Hassan, Imam Hassan gave bayah to who? Muawiyah radiallahu anh. And I have a list of sources here. All these reports on Shia sources, Shia books, all of them claiming directly that Imam Hassan gave bayah to Muawiyah radiallahu anh. Not only that, he told Hussein to give bayah. And then when Qais bin Sa'ad bin Ubadah, one of the generals who was reluctant to give bayah, Hussein said to him, Huwa imami, my brother Hassan is my imam. I give bayah, he gives bayah, so you give bayah, so give bayah to Muawiyah. So he had to give bayah to Muawiyah. These are the Ahlul Bayt we love and cherish, not the ones painted by them, not the ones concocted in and invented in by them temples. in their temples. Absolutely. Okay, so now here we have a report from Rajal al Kashi, Sheikh. Yeah. Ikra. Ikra. Okay. <laughs> Rajal al Kashi, time, it, is, time. it is one of the biggest. Abi books Abdullah, of... Abi Abdullah Jafar, Anahukal, in the Mawi Kataba Il Hassan ibn Ali, Salawatullah Ali, Hima, and Anakdim Anka, and Hussein, was Haba Ali, Harajamaham Kais, and Musad, and Mubad al Ansari, Wakadi Mushan, Wakadi Mushama, Fadin Lahum Mawi, Wad Lahum Al Kufaba, Fakala Ya Hassan, Kum Fabaya, Fakama Fabaya, Fakala Ya Hassan. قم فبايع فبايع ثم قال الحسين قم فبايع ثم قال ثم قال الحسين قم فبايع فبايع ثم قال يا قيس قم فبايع فالتفت إلى الحسين عليه السلام ينظر ما يأمره فقال يا قيس إنه إمامي يعني الحسن عليه السلام وفي رواية فقام إليه الحسن فقال بايع فبايع so time. this report is from time. a Shia I'm source. I'm finishing right now, finishing, concluding my point. So if Imam Hassan has given his pledge of allegiance, bayah, which is an Islamic concept, it cannot be given to a kafir under any circumstances, even under taqiyah. You cannot put the entire ummah. You are the custodian of the ummah. You the imam. Allah has put you in position to be a custodian, to be a shepherd. Imagine I am a shepherd of time. my flock. I'm, I'm, I'm finishing I'm not, right now, no, right please, now, finishing yeah. right now. Imagine my family. My family is my in my custody. I have a family. I have, let's say, my children and my wife. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? I go to the worst area of London, choose the worst gangsters, and hand my family to them. You take care of my family, and I will follow you. Does that make sense? If I cannot do it, he wouldn't do it. How can Hassan put the entire ummah into the hands yeah, yeah, yeah. of a criminal? Okay. Answer my question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. First of all. He is still saying, despite the fact, he's saying that Muawiyah made a mistake, radiyallahu anhu. Look, look the hatred to Ahlul Bayt. He's still acknowledging he made a mistake. That mistake was very serious, caused lots of lives, thousands and thousands of lives, that he's supposed to love Ahlul Bayt, uh, Sahaba, and he's still saying, radiyallahu anhu. The Prophet said he is the, from the, the group of renegade. They are callers for hellfire and he still say radiallahu an imam hassan is using this as an excuse mm. now Come. imam hassan by, by the way Adnan, when imam ali alayhi salam was fighting muawiyah right was that muawiyah good at the time no he was not good he was a baghia he was a renegade and Imam Ali go was going for him mm. to kill him mm. and save the humanity from him, mm. from his evil doing. However, Imam Hassan was in Imam Ali's army. He was fighting Muawiyah, right? Yes. Let's bear this in mind, this is important. Right, then when Imam Ali got martyred,
Imam Hassan then got into a truce with Muawiyah. He did not give bay'ah. And I challenge you, listen, I challenge you in your Sunni books, in your Sunni books, I quote in your books. Sunni books. La, la, what you quoted is just a paragraph from somewhere. It says, there is no Sanad in there. He didn't build I mean, he read the Sanad. No, 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 he didn't. An, he, he said An, Abu, Abu, Abu Ja'far. He didn't he read the Sanad. No, he didn't. Did you read the Sanad? Don't play this game. No. Do, you have, do you have Sanad? Oh, yeah, do you have Sanad now? Look, right. They, he just, you know, there's there's let Wahhabi, finish, let there's Wahhabi's websites. Wahhabi's oh, websites, they get extract and they put it there. Uqala and an and all this. This is does not work with us. Get a proper book, Shia book, saying that Imam Hassan. Imam Hassan. No, 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 no. It's not. No, it's not. Get it. With, with a right. No. That hadith, the one you quoting from the Kishi, yes. is da'if because in the Senate. In the Senate. In the, in the Senate. Go and check it. Who check it? it? You bring it. No, you bring it. You bring no, it. No, you can. It, you okay. bring it. Right. Al Khoi Al Khoi so, said listen, it's authentic. Listen. Imam Hassan. Al your Imam Al Khoi said Sunni it's authentic. No, no. Sunni box. Are you listening? Sunni, no, no. Don't interrupt me. Okay. Sunni Are box. You, Sunni <laughs> box. Tabari and others and historians say it was a truce. And again, like being a Ma'awiyah, he never. He never fulfilled the, the conditions of that truce. What are the conditions? The conditions was. And that, where, where are the reports? Uh, yeah, the, the, wait. Produce the, the reports. Uh, in your books. In where? your books. Where? Where? In the Sunni books. Where? With With my the, books? Some of the conditions. I said, okay, books? I'll tell you. Okay. What the, the conditions trees. that? The, the conditions. All, all, all over the trees. <laughs> right. The conditions were, yeah, make fun, make fun. This no, is we're the not losers. making fun. This, no. By the way, these Wahhabis lose as tactics. When they are cornered and they don't have anything to argue about, yeah, they start making mockery. But we we, we used to that. Imam Hassan, Imam Hassan got into a treaty with Muawiyah, and that is Muawiyah would rule, and then if he dies, he will hand time, over time it, rulership to Imam Hassan or Hussein. He sh we should stop chasing and headhunting followers of Imam Ali salam. He should continue time is paying. Paying money for followers of no, Imam Ali. He had more. He had more. No yeah, he had more as well. I will take three right? I will okay. take three minutes. Let me just finish. Let me just let me finish. Yeah. Yeah. Brothers and sisters. Imam, Imam Hassan alayhi salam, as I said, going to, in, into a truce with Muawiyah does not make Muawiyah a good it. person. And the Prophet alayhi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi got in, 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 in a truce with the kuffar and mushrikeen. Okay. So normal. Good, good point. Good point. You, you get, you get a truce. I have you a get a truce with the shayateen, no time. problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because no, the Prophet did it. Right. You get the truce with yeah. shayateen. He's yeah. right. He's right. Yeah, I am. Right. Yeah, I am. Gonna, of course, I am see, right. We're gonna see how far we're gonna get with this one now. Watch, watch. Try and start the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't interrupt me. Right, go. He said you can do truce with shayateen, but if the truce constitutes a clause that necessitates the submission and the surrender of your entire family An to army. shayateen. Your family, your children, your children. If you surrender your children to Shayateen, is that truth a good truth? No. Is that a noble truth? Or is that a criminal truce? Is that a criminal truce or a noble truce? Tell me. It's a criminal truce. Why? Because you have now made a truce with a gangster, with a drug dealer, with a murderer, the worst person to walk the planet. And the, the, the truce necessitates that the entire Ummah will be ruled by a gangster, a criminal. criminal. So Hassan gives up responsibility that was given to him by Allah. These guys believe he was appointed by Allah and he had no authority to surrender that authority to Muawiyah. Something given by Allah can be cannot be left behind. You cannot, when Allah gives you a responsibility, you cannot run away from it. What happened to Yunus alayhi salam? What happened to Yunus alayhi salam? When he left his responsibility, Allah put him in will. Allah put him in will. As what? As a sign of thankfulness? As a sign of gratitude? Or no, as a sign of reminder. You don't run from Allah. Okay, so Hassan, what does he do? He gives the entire Ummah to a criminal. But even the report is authentic in their sources. And the reason why he's running away from the report, that report, that one report is a death sentence on the Shia school of thought. It strangles them. You know why? It, it causes the entire theology to collapse because they have made a story around Muawiyah. To them, Muawiyah is Don Corleone. Okay, Muawiyah is Al Capone. No, Muawiyah is Al Capone, Al Chapo, uh, Pablo Escobar, Don Corleone, and Netanyahu put together. All of them. 
and yet Hassan goes to him. Does it make sense to you, my Shia brothers and sisters? Wake up. Does it make sense? I'm talking to you. Does it make sense to you that Muawiyah would deliberately go and place the entire Ummah? Hassan, Hassan would deliberately go and entire place the entire Ummah in the hands of the biggest, uh, biggest criminal in the world. It doesn't make sense. Hassan would never do that. He would so the answer is, the conclusion is Muawiyah was not that criminal these people have made him to be. Muawiyah was a noble person radiallahu an, and so was Hassan. They shook hands and he gave bay'ah. And even if he says he signed a treaty with him, you cannot sign a treaty with, would you sign a treaty with Abu Bakr Baghdadi? No. And leave your family to him? Would you sign a treaty? No, no, no. Simple that's question. That's no, why, why, is that's that? why is that different? That is different. Who's worse, Abu no, Bakr? No, no, no Abu Imam, Bakr Hassan, Baghdadi. Imam Hassan did not hand okay. up. Okay. Did not hand, so Alhamdulillah, so, so, Alhamdulillah, so, no, wait, saying that Muawiyah is Abu Bakr Baghdadi. Daishi, that's it. No, he said it, Alhamdulillah. To you, he's like that. No, that's you. No, to you. Why did you make up Abu Bakr Baghdadi then? Can I finish? Okay. So now, no, no, no. So now, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. So now, now Abu Bakr, the discussion and Abu Bakr Baghdad are the same. My point. Alhamdulillah, you can come back. Yeah, so the ahead. discussion finished. I am done with this discussion. Those who have sense and aql, they will know. Those who Allah has blessed with uh, some uh, some rationality and true brain cells, they will know where we're coming from and where we're going. These people have no legs to stand on in theology, in aqidah, in fiqh, in anything, in history, even history, even hadith. They have no legs to stand on.